There are some species that live in our forests that create habitat for other species to thrive. And one of those species is something that we barely notice, wood ants. They move nutrients around the forest. They're a generalist predator. Ants can be as good as pesticides at pest defense for a forest ecosystem. They're our natural forest defense mechanism. But wood ants are constrained to just 14% of our woodlands, despite there being great habitat across the nation's forests. They typically move five meters in a year and stay very close to the original nest. They struggle to disperse to new forests where there are gaps in between of, of no forest cover. So we started to look at translocating wood ants to say, we know this habitat is great. We know you do great things in this habitat. Let's establish a population there and see how you do. We started in May and we moved six nests from Cropton Forest in Yorkshire across to Ennerdale in Cumbria. And we've completed the second six nests and reassembled the nests here in Ennerdale in roughly the same order that we dug the ants up. From what we're doing here, we will learn about two different methods of translocating ants, either using a whole small nest or moving just part of a large nest. Both of those two methods require taking the ants' nests apart in different layers and putting each layer in a container and then reassembling them in the same order, a bit like a cake. One of our first concerns was whether they would survive three and a half hours in transit. All of the ants have survived and every nest has been very active. We will be monitoring the ants to see where they go because several of the nests have already moved and they will hibernate over the winter. And in April, we'll see which nests have been strong enough to survive the winter. We'll compare and contrast the two different methods and we'll look at what's worked well here, what we could improve, and hopefully we'll be able to translocate more ants to other forests. It's nice to be part of restoring the ecology here and bringing something back that may do far more than we could do on our own.